Now we've all heard the saying, it's all in the detail. And when it comes to men's grooming, it's those slick, unique details that takes an outfit from drab to dapper. Today on the episode, we speak to Aderonke and Shegun Abiono, who is the head or the creative directors of Nicole and Giovanni. Yes, it's a premium men's accessory brand located right here in Lagos. We're going to dig deep into what makes their business tick. What is their business model? But above all, we're going to find out how they make the business work as a married couple. I'm Sika Ose, and welcome to Fashion Insider. Hi, guys. Hi, How are you? Yeah, great to be here. So, well. so you are officially my first married business couple. Oh, fantastic. I know, right? I'm, I'm, super, I'm super excited about that. Yeah. So let's address the elephant in the room. Yeah. Who's Giovanni? Uh, Giovanni is our son. Oh. Yeah. So I was going to say, were you born in Italy? No. No. Uh, Giovanni means John. Okay. Yeah. And Nicole? Nicole means victory. Got you. Nicole is our daughter. Okay. Yeah, and she's eight. That's right. Yeah. So you guys are a married couple in business. Yes. How's that going? Pretty well. Beautiful. Pretty well. She's still smiling, so yeah. that's a good thing. <laughs> it means you haven't torn each other's hair out. Mm. How long have you been married? Mm, ten, ten years. It's going to be late. level in June. Really? Yeah. And at what point in the marriage did you decide, let's do a business together? Do you want to answer that? Well, I, actually, when we met... Before we got married, we actually kind of knew we were going to do something together. I think our very first registered business was even before we got married. So what was the first real business? Oh, well, the, the very first real business was majorly just consulting. Gotcha. Yeah, and um, I studied finance and I wanted to do something, you know, uh, much more of, uh, into the finance industry. Okay. So while working at the suit shop, I gradually, gradually waited for the time when I could get a job in that industry. I see. Yeah. So when did you make that transition from being into finance into entrepreneurship? Well, that was years, years, years later. Because at the, at the point when we made that transition, when we were in England, we, okay. we, we, were, we both did our master's in London. And I was working for Barclays. At a point, we... It was more or less a divine intervention and um, a divine instruction mm. for us to start the sock business. Gotcha. Uh, I was working at a telecoms company. Like you said, we were in the UK. After my master's degree, I stayed home a bit to take care of my daughter because I had my daughter during my master's degree. And when we moved back to Nigeria, I joined um, a telecoms company. I've always worked there anyway. Mm -hmm. And when it was time to transition into starting Nicole and Giovanni full time, I had to resign too. Was that scary for the both of you? Uh, or had you already developed the brand to such a point that oh, you yes. knew? Yeah. When I left uh, England mm. and I came back to Nigeria, I joined the bank also. And um, a year and a half, going to two years into uh, being in the bank and at the same time, um, you know, working on my side, side also. That's what they will call it. And um, we saw it grow um, while I was giving my, you know, 100% to my employer, we were, you know, coming up with our strategies on how we were going to approach the market, which we were doing together, regardless of, it's a Lagos thing, you have to drive as early as 5.30 to leave the house to get, you know, to work, so we were always discussing on how to move forward, how to strategize, and how to, you know, execute the whole thing, so gradually, as time passed, it's the best decision we ever took, yeah, yeah, trust me. Now, Ronke, what is the split in jobs? Who does what when it comes to Nicole Giovanni? <laughs> so, Shegun is the creative director. Okay. He does so, all this is him? He does everything creative, the okay. design. He's actually very artistic. I don't know why he hasn't really... Well, I would say he has interpreted his, his artistic um, gift in, in socks. So, left for me, while she does more of the technical area, mm. I do more of the branding, the, the, the marketing, and the sales. Where are they made? Well, they're not made in Nigeria, but they are designed completely in Nigeria. Um, are you both behind the designs? Yes. Okay. Yes. So 100%. You, Ronke, tell me about... 
I mean, we look at these and we think this could be on any international brand. Yeah. But how do you guys put the Nigerian flavor to this? So that people know that, you know what, this is quality, but mm. it's still proudly Nigerian. Okay, so what it is is that we take inspiration from everywhere. Yeah. Like if you look at some of those, like that um, blue um, design there, it looks like a bean shape. This the one blue one, okay, yeah, right the there. pair of socks there. Yeah. It's like a bean shaped. The other one looks like flowers. Then we have this one looks like a splash. Okay, this uh, one right That here. one looks like a waterfall. Mm -hmm. uh, the crown one is like kinship. Yeah. Um, we take inspiration from everywhere. These are actually uh, African tribal designs. So you can see that looks like a zebra. Um, that looks like another pattern. So we just take inspiration from ethnic clothes. We want something that if you're Nigerian, if you're African, you or can if you can identify, with. and if you're not, you can find it as unique, interesting. Right. You're like, what's this about? So there's a story behind and each everything. design. Yeah. I mean, if you can't identify with animal print, yeah. boxer shorts, what else can you identify? And to make it more interesting, um, the names are all African. African. Okay, so you so, have different names yes, for the different yes. products. Every other oh, item um, um, has a name and a story behind it. And over time, we grew to naming uh, our items yeah. after our most consistent customers. customers. Yes, because um, they are the ones who have kept us till this, this time. Okay, so let's talk about, because I'm sure a lot of people are watching at home, mm -hmm. they're seeing socks, they're seeing, well, I don't know if they can see um, some of the shoe laces, they're seeing beautiful boxers and other things, they're cufflinks, you guys do bow ties, yes. everything to do with men's okay. accessories. Yeah. Which kind of person will be so eccentric <laughs> to wear the Nicole and Giovanni brand? Yeah. I mean, tell us who, who are like who is your market, your target market. Trust me, um, we have a very, very huge fan base, mm. and uh, but if you have to ask the target market, really, it's the working class. Although most of our our clientele is filled with uh, uh, top executives, okay. right? Because um, a lot of people say a fact about us is that we are pricey. <laughs> are you pricey though yeah. tell us tell us the price range yeah um our socks range from five thousand to eighteen thousand a pair okay. and um uh, if you if you do want to shop even on the dollar um denominated uh, version you can also do that on the website actually okay. for the ties we have twenty five thousand to thirty thousand um in the in the tie range we have the bow ties for twenty thousand we have the the boxers um ranging from thirteen thousand to fifteen thousand. You so, definitely are going to stand exactly, out yeah. wearing one of exactly, these pieces. And exactly. you have to dress for success, which yeah. is really what you're absolutely, selling. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. You guys just have an online store. Yes. You don't have a physical store. How has that been positive and how has that been negative for your business? Uh, well, our web store is on nicolandgiovanni.com mm -hmm. and um you can shop worldwide and we deliver worldwide okay. so the reason is we decided that we wanted to be able to serve people internationally and sometimes when you look at it i'm just talking from the business perspective now a lot of people go in and you just go and open a store put all your products in there the costs add up and what we decided was that we wanted to take advantage of the e-commerce strategy. So I handle that. And I said to ourselves that we said to ourselves that, look, you know what? We can have as many SKUs as we want. Mm. And we can just have an, we have an, a web store and we have an online catalog. Yeah. So people go on the website, they download the catalog, you pick as many pieces as you want, and they will deliver to you. So it saves you a lot of a money. A lot of money. Absolutely. And it's actually very effective as okay. well. But in terms of your distribution panels, yes, you know, we have. How how easy has that been to to establish? Okay, so what we do is it can be quite challenging, especially because it's Nigeria. Logistics yes. in Nigeria is sometimes um, difficult. Mm -hmm. But what we've done is we've partnered with top um, logistics companies. We partner with DHL, and so it's quite effective, especially for out of Lagos deliveries. Okay. For within Lagos deliveries, we have inside um, logistics personnel that do deliver we ensure that the customer gets their product and this is on under time. the nicole and giovanni under brand? The, we we do it under the nicole and giovanni brand okay. and also sometimes when we have a huge influx of orders we also have backup um logistics companies that we Got partner you. with Got just you. to make sure that the customer gets it on time okay. yes. I, I think it's interesting for us mm. to talk about the, the delivery timing mm. yeah because those are the things that sets us apart, apart. from 
um, every other company in, in the country. Trust what is me. the delivery time? Yeah, um, when it comes to delivering within Lagos, it's mm -hmm. 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, when mm -hmm. it's um, outside Lagos, it's roughly 48 hours. But when it's going um, across That's the shores, idea. so we're talking about roughly 72 hours. So we make sure that there are no excuses. Is there a return policy? Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We have a return policy. Absolutely. Okay. You know, we don't even. We don't. And even, we've had. In fact, I think we've only very had minimal. very few complaints about your product. Yes, very, absolutely. very few complaints. Now, guys, for I mean, I've had the privilege. I've touched. I felt the material, and I know everything you're saying is true. But for those people who buy online, you know, the problem with being mm. buying stuff online is they don't know what they're getting. Absolutely. How do you prove to them and how do they get to see and feel what you've told me? Oh, fantastic question you just asked. Thank you. And um, to, to resolve that, actually, mm. we came up with the moving shop strategy. Like last year, for example, we had in Abuja, we had in Port Harcourt, we had in Kaduna, and they were very successful because uh, um, most of the, the customers actually took their time out, knowing fully well that we're not really in so much stores, came out to, you know, to, to have fun with us. And, uh, and, and the experience was, was pure magic. Now, you've yeah. told me so much. You're going to Abuja, you're going to London, you're going mm. to Germany. Yeah. You have two kids. Yeah. And you're married. How do we keep the spark between you two with all of this going on? Do you want to answer that? Uh, Why are you letting her answer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? No, let her answer. Let her. You can always chip in. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we, we actually do a lot of planning. Mm. And that's one of the advantages of having an online store. Yeah. You can run your business well anywhere in the world. You don't have to be physically present. So we have partners. So whenever we're not available or in the country, okay. we have people who do um, product fulfillment for us. Now, in terms of the spark, it's also very intentional. You just have to make up your mind. If there's genuine love, mm -hmm. you know, and people ask us that, how do we do it that we see each other two, four, seven, three, yes. six, five days in a year? Because a lot of people shy away from businesses with their, with their spouse. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the truth is, I think... <laughs> I, just, I just never... <laughs> spring, no, no. I never get tired of her. There's no, nothing. We, I think the thing is, we're very good friends. Mm -hmm. So we actually genuinely enjoy each other's company. Okay. We get on each other's nerves from time to time, Absolutely. but it's all part of the journey. Got you. And of course, when the kids go to school, it's just the two of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see the products that you come up with. Yeah. You know, maybe you go more into females, you know, some female. Uh, you female know, that's, bras that's a very, like that. very tasty area. We have some products for females. Mm. We have the no show socks, like what I have on. Yeah. We have the ankle socks. Okay. But most of our customers for the love laces the laces, that we're in. you know, because yeah. right now we're all into fit fat. Yeah. 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 Fit fat. Yeah. You know how that is. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much it's for being on the show. Thank you, Sika. It's so great, you yeah. know, getting to understand, you know, what was behind the brand. The story is very, very important. Thank, so thank you, you so for much, Sika. Okay? You're really, so really welcome. Pleasure. You're so yeah, welcome. Yeah. 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 <laughs> for all you married couples that are thinking of going into business together, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Thank you so much for joining me on Fashion Insider. For this and so much more, make sure you go on all our social media pages. I'm Sika Osei. See you next time.